What is your body saying about how you feel? What do we Americans love, hate, but gotta have? And sleeping away the pain. All that and more coming up on The Daily Orbit. Hello and welcome to The Daily Orbit. I'm Emerald Robinson. Can you tell how I'm feeling? Let me give you a clue. It's not in my expression. Researchers found that body language provides a more accurate cue to emotions than facial expressions. In the study, participants were shown photos of people in intense emotional states. They found that participants could better determine the emotional state they were observing when they were given a full body picture versus just a face. Researchers said these results show that when emotions become extremely intense, the difference between positive and negative facial expression blurs. Scientists are hoping these new findings may be able to help individuals with certain medical conditions like autism who struggle with recognizing facial expressions but could be trained to process important body cues. And this one is so me. One day I love my iPhone, the next day I hate it. <laughs> but then I really love it. It's such a love-hate relationship. Well, it turns out most Americans feel the same way. A new Pew Research study reveals some interesting numbers. 85% of Americans own a mobile device, and 67% will check their phone for emails, messages, and missed calls even if it doesn't buzz. 24% said they hated how their phones made them available 24-7, 15% complained about paying too much, and 12% said they were annoyed with dropped calls. But 29% said they couldn't imagine living without their phone. And why do we Americans love them? The majority said they use their phones to keep in touch with those that they love. Cell phones are like boys. You love them, you hate them, but you just can't live without them. Another thing I can't live without, sleep. And a new study says that sleep is a great painkiller too. Researchers found a direct relationship between sleep and sensitivity to pain. In their study, they found that participants who slept for 10 hours per night were able to keep their finger on a heat source 25 seconds longer than those who had slept for eight or fewer hours. Their findings also found that the effect was greater with sleep than with 60 milligrams of codeine. But doctors say if you're already getting eight hours of sleep, you probably don't need any more. If you're getting six hours or fewer, night, try and get to sleep earlier whenever possible. My question is, how did they talk people into putting their finger on something hot? And a lobster can no longer hide his age. Scientists believe that lobsters can live up to 100 years old, but up until now had no way of telling the actual age of a single lobster. New research has revealed that lobsters, like trees, have rings hidden on their bodies that can be counted to determine their age. Scientists had thought there was no way to determine lobster age because, like other crustaceans, they molt and shed all calcified body parts that might record annual growth bands. But after dissecting the sea creatures, they found growth bands in the lobster's eye stalks and gastric mill, an area in a lobster's stomach where tooth-like structures help pulverize digesting food. Scientists say that being able to determine their age will improve stock assessment and ensure sustainability. I'm just glad we don't have rings that tell our age. And a new cosmic find might be throwing a rock into the common theories of the formation of rocky planets. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, astronomers found a dusty disk encircling a brown dwarf star that contains millimeter-sized solid grains like those found in dense disks around newborn stars. Scientists had previously thought that these grains could not grow around brown dwarfs because the disks were too sparse and moving too fast to stick together after colliding. The increased resolution provided by ALMA also allowed scientists to detect carbon monoxide gas around the brown dwarf, marking the first time cold molecular gas has been detected in such a disk, indicating the disk is much more like ones around young stars. Scientists say these findings challenge theories on rocky planet formation and suggest that rocky planets may even be more common in the universe than expected. Well, that does it for today's A Daily Orbit. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.